This is my tight kick. We are at Patonga. I have never been here before. We are just cruising out Patonga Beach. It was a surf beach launch, but not really a surf beach launch because the waves are lucky to be a foot there. Um, I'd say probably about two inches to be honest. Um, a slowly has picked up, which is not supposed to happen. So that's not going to be a good thing for me um, because I'm on the wrong side of the subway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head around this headland here and throw out a few lures and a few soft plastics and if I get some live bait opportunities I'll definitely put out a live bait see what we can get. Right now it's very sandy bottom from the look of it. Um, it is, Patonga is basically very close to where the Hawkesbury meets the Pacific Ocean so there is going to be tidal flow. How much I do not know um, until we get out of here. Um, but other than that we're going to try and stay safe. If it gets too choppy then we're going in. Um, there is a lot of trawlers around so I'm not going to fuss about the trawlers too much which means, only means there's going to be fish around here but as you can see there's definitely some swell coming through just not big swell so we're fine right now we'll um, see how we go anyway sorry about the wind noise but let's get some gompers so here we are at Patonga stunning views can't say enough about it, the water's a bit murky but we've had lots of rain lately and like I said the Hawkesbury River runs out of here um, it's sort of choppy, sort of calm um, the swirl comes through every probably 12 seconds at the moment um, the rest is just all just chop so nothing major in the way of swell like up further it looks like there's a lot of swell but we're going to try our best to see what we can get and um, at the moment no success with fish but who cares when you've got a view like that hey look at that view it is absolutely stunning. I'm trying to take it a bit slower. I'm going up and down in a kayak too, so I'm just trying to pan around. And there's an island out there, and then that side is actually northern Sydney. So there you go. But um, yep, Pacific Ocean, here we come. now um, yeah we just had a few big rolls come through um, scared me a little bit uh, I'm just gonna see what happens over the next few minutes I want to try and get in here to fish so I'm kind of just gradually work my way in um, I want to cast up against uh, the rocks there and then like bring it back hoping to catch some snapper or something like that but yeah if these big rolls keep coming through I'm gonna have to head because um, some of them are getting pretty pretty outrageous at the moment so because I'm getting a lot of cross waves from there so they're jacking up the waves a little bit with the crossies but it's very choppy in there so it'd be the perfect snapper location um, yeah I just don't I, I just don't know just yet so we'll see how we go if I get in close enough we'll um I'll take a bit I'll get some footage of it but yeah at the moment with all these crossy waves and that um, it's making it very hard to distinguish um, where to go. So I kind of want to get out of these crossway sections, uh, which is based on uh, this wall over here. Um, it's crossing over to here, so once I'm out of that spot, um, it's probably going to be a little bit better. Precautions have gotten the better side of me. Um, there's big, big swell coming through now. Before it was only like a metre and a half. Meters. Some of these guys are getting probably up to a four metre swell. Um, I was trying to get in close to the rocks just around here somewhere, but it um, it's just too choppy. And as soon as I get close, it seems to big waves come through and mess it up completely. So, um, gonna go the cautious way. Gonna head back. There's a few hidey holes back there where there's less swell. So, we'll go all the way out here. It's definitely an easy run out to the island out there. Uh, I'm not going to do it today because, yeah, like I said, the swell's picked up, the wind's coming against me, and I don't want to get too tired and, like, have to paddle back. Oh, Jesus Christ, I've just noticed something. I just noticed fish or something hitting the water surface. Fish or dolphins, one or the other. Well, dolphins are a fish, but... There was something hitting the, the water surface just out here, so we're going to have a look and see what we can't catch. The next part to Patonga, I didn't catch anything. I did go close to the, to the rocks. I have a few casts, can't get anything. Uh, there's stuff on my scanner right now, but I'm just drawing through stuff. Um, I'm heading back. 
I was going to head in by about five because I don't know this area too well. So just go double check my area and my car and hopefully we might do some more fishing tonight. Um, I might be heading back to the Lake Macquarie tonight uh, for a fish tonight with some Jews or some early morning shit tomorrow. There's a trawling boat going up and down, up and down, up and down, so I don't know what that's about. I'm guessing he's just going up and down for prawns, so. but um, yeah, if that's the case, well, there's not going to be much fish around because the trawl's going to get it all, so. But then again, like I said, there's a trawl out there, so the trawl's probably getting all the bait balls. So, yeah. But Katonga, beautiful. And uh, let's hope for we catch a gomper. And welcome to the month of February. Um, I can't even remember what's in January, but not much. Uh, so in February, I've, I've kind of been out on boats chasing big things and haven't been catching anything. So I've come out very early this morning. Um, it's a beautiful morning. It's glassy. Um, that gives you a rough idea how early it is. I've actually got my, my kayak light on. Um, I've got about a one kilometer paddle, maybe two kilometers to the location that I'm going so hence why I set off before the sun's come up there's little things jumping around so I might throw out a throw out a little white star I'm not expecting to catch any um, on the paddle across and I'll probably be rigging up um, some lines today um, I'm going to be using that you can probably see it uh, this is a Shimano BioTuff um, paddle tail in the salt and pepper and then we have two sugar pens on offer I'm yet to rig this one up uh, this is your sugar pen I'm trying to think 8.5 gram 95 millimeter and I can't think of what the color it says floating I mean, it's CT 287 it's like a pilchard color it's got like a silvery thing on it I don't know if you can see that at all but yeah so we'll be using that one on a rod and then the other one which I'm just about to reach around is this puppy here it's another sugar pen um, it's the smaller one I think 65 millimeter or something like that or 55 uh, there's a couple of tails on here um, as well on this one and it's in the orange color I can't remember these are our top water because that's what we're going for uh, rods that I'm using on this sugar pen um, it's the Raider Junior I've only just got it um, I caught a couple of fish with it um, it's only like a $40, $50 rod um, it is a kids rod um, highly flexible but I just want something to muck around with and um, see if it's good for kids to use and stuff like that so far it's been performing pretty well but I've got no footage of it so we want to get some footage of that um, and as always Sedona 1000 uh, that's been my baby reel for a while now um, I've just done an upgrade on my other rod so I've put the 1000 on here so that's going to be a good combo the sugar pen is going to have a Shimano tie pin 3 to 6 kilo um, on that 3 to 6 kilo it's going to be a 2500 series reel and that will have the bigger sugar pen and then the baby ugly stick 3.6 um, it's going to have the paddle tail on it. Um, it's got a NASCII 1000 on it. That's the upgrade. Um, awesome reel. Um, can't wait to get into some bigger stuff with it. There's a whole heap of potty mullet and gar floating around me at the moment. So, yeah. Hopefully we can catch some gompers and get some top water action happening. And um, get some footage for you guys. Hopefully we get back to it. Woo! Just had a few hits of this sugar pen here. So just 
try and catch some footage of catch of the hits and that of the sugar pen. Every time I get hit, the very next cast I get from seaweed. It's driving me nuts. Oh, look at that. God damn it. Had a big go at the start. Uh -oh. Bring back. Oh, shit. I knew that'd be around here. It's a little bimbo. I don't know how they open their mouth that wide to fit a whole treble in. Here we go. Nice little bimbo. See you later, buddy. Mwah. Swirl, but I don't know if it was just a little potty mullet swirl or something trying to grab it at the moment. I'd say it was a potty mullet, and we're going to do one more cast. I'm hoping to be. Oh no, it's not exactly where I wanted to be. Ah oh, shit. <sighs> that is not where you want to be. There's any fish that are around here now have just been disturbed. There's one. Let's just be very. There's two, three, four, five. I'm on. I had a massive hit. Stripping me towards it. I have no visual. It's in the sunlight. I can't see shit. It's a nice brim. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> I've netted that and then it's come out. That is a nice brim. That is a very nice broom indeed. See you later, buddy. Mwah. Have a good swim. Did he go? I don't think so. Alright, top water again. On the sugar pan. What have we got this time? Another broom boat. He's 
go on through as much weight as you possibly can. Another, another fucking Wimbo. He's another beast. Very much edible. Hey, mwah, goodbye. Fish on. I'd say it's a boom. Going off past history of the last day. I'd say it's a boom. Search just yet. I can't see it, it's right in the sun. Yeah, it's a brim. Another brim bar. Oh, I didn't like that very much. Another quality brim bar. We're going to take a photo of this one, but another quality boomboat. Thanks for coming, buddy. So, see if you want to.